Hello, this is Nathan from Access TV, and I'm here with Dave. Hello. And what I'm showing Dave is I've been playing God of War Ascension, which is going to be our game of the week next week. Uh, and these are Kratos is known for his finishes. Dave, look. Ow. Oh. Ow. Uh, so what we've done is we've played through the first uh, 12 chapters of the game. I've looked two of these guys now down ready for a kick in. Oh no. Oh, his that's come off. His head is coming off. So we're just looking at some of the ways in which Kratos, because this game more than even God of War 3, is about Kratos. Uh, just tearing stuff apart and making them dead. But, like, I mean, it's always been inventive. But I think they've really picked up on the fact that people really... I mean, this bit's grim, anyway. That they really like... Um, oh. They really like watching things die horribly. So this is the... I can't... I call this guy the Hecky Tonky Tonk because I can't remember <laughs> what he's actually called. But he's like this... Uh, at the beginning, the Furies trapped him millennia ago because he broke a blood oath to the gods. And he's like a big statue now. And they built a prison inside him. But the, this Fury... Uh, ejects insects from her boobs and then <laughs> they reanimate stuff. So this is me killing her, um, or, Kr or Kratos doing it anyway. <laughs> you do need to make that differentiation <laughs> next. You but can't do these things in real life, okay? Well, yes. if the Furies existed, then we'd see about that. Oh, so that's the end of her. She but she quite resembled a spider, so I'm I'm not too sad to see her go. But now the Hecky Tonky Tonk is coming after us. You know, uh, by think, a cruel twist of fate, uh, his actual name is the Hecky Tonky Tonk. So. Um, and this is an elephant man. This one's really mean because oh, no. like elephant man. I know what's going to happen to this elephant man, and I like elephants, even if they do stand on two legs and they're wear big armor. enemies. But you know what? They're not like you know goats and lions. Goats maybe not that vicious, but you know lions or you know predators. Yeah. Elephants, they just remember stuff well. Oh. So and they've got this new oh, dynamic no. now where you kind of grab stuff and you dodge and then attack. And right. It's quite. So you can you can like fail a finisher. Can mm. you? Yeah. Oh no. Oh, then, look at his so eye. Oh, yeah, he's oh, looking at you. He's, he's like, this has it. you're doing this? This is what you've chosen to do, is it? I yes, it is. That is oblivion. what I have chosen to do. Uh, this is another area, again, quite near the beginning of the game. Um, oh, Goatman. Oh, Goatman has a flail. He was really frustrating to fight against. So when I got hold of him... <laughs> Get down. Oh, oh you use your own sword against you. But I like oh, it. his legs have come it's off. Like properly skilled. I had no idea his legs were coming off. There are what I like about. I mean, it's a theme in God of War that uh, this is like a Medusa, like an updated one, more snake-like, less lady-like. Yeah. Um, I see they've left in some important lady parts. They to need make to be sure. recognisable. Yeah. But we get to see basically all of the inside of this snake. <laughs> so you're dodging there. Um, and of course. That, that, that for good. I, I felt like I had to dodge. Uh, it felt really kind of. It just felt cool, like I was doing skillfully evading stuff and being really violent. Of course, le uh, Medusa's big thing in history was being able to turn people to stone. She can't do it now. Can she not? Because look at her head. Oh yeah. But because can she turn people to, to stone at any point? Uh, yeah, you kind of you have to waggle the sticks. This now one. this is on my way to see the Oracle, and this I don't even know what this is called. Oh, it's a uh, try. Triceratops. A tri snake atop. Yeah. He's got a <laughs> snake on top. So he's. This is a multi-stage boss. There have been. Uh, these appeared. Not these. The exact type. But where there would be, you know, three animals, and you have to sort of kill each animal in a row. And that's the gradually. tail gone. That's the snake gone. And now. I, I guess that's a lion. It's the lion's turn. The most noble of all the creatures. Yeah. He's noble. Oh. Your way out of that. Yeah. Lion guy, no bull. Oh, well, because this is kind of a bull and thing now. And what I like is when, because th th some of the creatures oh. that he fights are enormous, so he uses bits of them to kill them. Yes, <laughs> that is a running it's theme. It's a lovely the irony. War games. There he is, just walking around. What's it? Who's that guy? Do oh, you know, he's gone. I almost did a video about how everyone that if you meet Kratos, you're dead. Like, because uh, these regular guys, guys, this guy at the beginning, he goes. I'm saved. <laughs> like I'm free. Immediately gets crushed. And this guy's like picking up apples as an offering to the gods or to the oracle. And you're like, I don't know what's going to eat you. Like that thing looks a bit like, um, you know, the book where the wild things are. He looks a bit like one oh of yeah. the head of one of the monsters. I believe this is a manticore. And okay. um, I really like that he didn't just chew on that guy. He also burnt him. He yeah. incinerated in him his, whilst in his mouth chewing. And kind of spat him out. Oh, okay. So, so yeah, so he's done his wings. Then he births these smaller manticores. Oh, just Which I enjoy, <laughs> yeah, the no problem. And then to finish. Oh, let's see. Oh, boy, he's already been horribly slashed. I think he's lost an arm there. It's not It's not good. It's not a good way to go. It's the chains, it's the stabbing. And I'm dodging again, though. I mean, see? Oh, you have to uh -huh. dodge the tail. Oh, yeah. 
The scorpion tail. That man Manticore's gonna regret. Oh, bit of drool. Oh, he's bit onto the chain now. I just so I've snapped that off and I, stu <laughs> and I stuck it in his face. <laughs> that is the perfect guy, really. Bit of fire there. A marbly floor. This reminded me a bit of the Death Star. The marbly floor. I l yeah, I really a like that. A dog with three heads who can jump into the ground. This dog is, of course, Cerberus. Yes, a Cerberus. There are, there are many. Oh, uh, right. This one... I. Yeah, it's not oh. bad. His oh. head popped right off. I'd, or, I'd already used him as like a, as a weapon. Well, that's the end of the video. Um, we're going to have more once we've finished the game um, and the game's out. We're going to have more horrible deaths for everybody.